It's wonderful to see you all here. My name is Azita Imami. I serve as the director of Center for Sensing to Intelligence. Uh, we have a small change in the program. Uh, pr President Rosenbaum uh, was going to give the opening remarks, but he had COVID exposure. And But we are extremely honored and delighted to have Vice Provost uh, Professor Kaushik Bhattacharya today uh, to kick it start uh, this program. Kaushik, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Azita. Uh, a very warm welcome to all of you to Caltech. Uh, We're all delighted that you can be here. Um, I convey welcome from uh, Tom Rosenbaum and his regrets that he couldn't be here. He was really looking forward to it, but COVID is still with us, uh, unfortunately. Um, you know, this is a very important and exciting work symposium workshop, and it is exploring new ideas, new fields, and it's exactly the kind of meeting that we are very proud of at Caltech, right? It's really a Caltech type event, and I hope that you enjoy and you find it stimulating. Caltech is a very small place. Uh, I like to joke we are very proud to be the third largest educational institution in the city of Pasadena, <laughs> <laughs> right? So that's, we are 300 professors and about 2,300 students. But we dream big and we are not afraid to pursue big dreams. You know, I, in the context of this symposium, it's very much in that spirit. And in the context of this symposium, I want you to think about your cell phone. Uh, the heart of it, the chips, goes back to the pioneering work of Carver Mead and VLSI. It wouldn't be possible without that. Right? You think of the many cameras. It's Eric Fossum and his JPL team developing the CMOS cameras, which enables us to have this level of cameras here. Right? You're probably using Wi-Fi and Bob McAleese and his error correcting codes were very central to enabling the Wi-Fi communication on our devices today. And I also think back to the pioneering work of John Hopfield and others in the early 80s in computational neural sciences, who in the 1980s would have been thinking that neural networks and AI would be central to our life today. Right? So th these are kind of in one small sphere, examples of the profound impact that this small little place has on technology. And this symposium is very much in that spirit and with that ambition in place. Right? So I want to say a few things about Caltech. We don't think of our small size as a disadvantage. In fact, we think of that as a core advantage that we have. It allows us to be organized in a way that it is completely flat. So people from many different disciplines can get together, become friends both personally and intellectually, and pursue dreams. And through this cross fertilization new ideas come up, which are somehow break kind of the traditional boundaries. Similarly, the small size allows us to be nimble we can, the centers, so faculty can come together, start a new activity very easily. We don't have kind of top-down, detailed strategic plans and roadmaps for research. It is what our creative faculty tell us where the interests are. And centers like the S2I Center, we can stand them up very quickly because there are no faculty lines associated with them. It's a collection of faculty who are here, Faculty from other fields are welcome to join. And it's really about ideas and developing ideas and building on these ideas. And what, of course, to develop and nurture these ideas, it requires a tremendous amount of support. It's hard to find support from traditional funding agencies on ideas that break tradition, which break the disciplinary boundaries. So philanthropy plays a very big role in making centers like S2I possible and thrive. 
We also know and we also understand that real impact comes not from only from publishing groundbreaking papers, but also from translating these ideas into the real world. And so we really need to work with entrepreneurs and corporate partners to translate what we, the ideas and our dreams and possible new directions into actual practice. And I think symposia like this play a very significant role in trying to invite all of you to campus to share the excitement we feel about the things that are going on and really build on the momentum that we have. Uh, so I'll say once again, welcome. I hope that you have, I'm sure that you'll be stimulated and you'll have, you'll hear a lot of exciting new ideas. And I hope that you will leave here completely enthusiastic and inspired um, today. So thank you and welcome. <laughs>